Hey y'all, how we doing? Patrick with Vetted. Got another video for you today. Okay, yes, you're getting two today because, you know, it's just extra special. That's what's going on. So anyway, um, you probably saw the title, the thumbnail. You're like, let me look at this or not. I don't know. I mean, if you're here, you want to know. So yes, um, Jaime Mauson has, uh, he did a live stream uh, where he basically showed, you know, x-rays of these aliens and they're in this like you know medical facility and they got an mri machine and i mean cameras are there i mean they're just handling these bodies like it's nothing you'll see um it's quite interesting um it's in spanish i do speak spanish i'll try to translate as much as i can as it's going through and just really give you a general idea of what they're talking about but i'll put a link to the full video um it has subtitles so you can click that and watch it. it's about an hour and 20 minutes or so um, and see what you make of it. So granted, this is not, um, you know, sent out into the world for other people to examine and whatnot. It, it does seem like a little bit of a controlled um, experiment, if you will, or analysis. Um, but, you know, hopefully after this, they'll release it to more people to take a look at, right? Um, that, that's what we need. So anyway, without further ado, Let's jump in. Yes, there we go. Analysis en vivo. So that just means like live analysis. All right. Wow. So there's the eggs, they said, and this like metal piece that they have there. Um, but yeah, let's let's jump in. I'm going to kind of skip around. So bear with me. Um, let's find. Okay, so here we go. See, look, they're... They got the machines here. No aliens yet. Um, and, uh, you know, again, it's uh, it's just interesting, right? So let's get to where they pull out the bodies. Uh, you can watch, like, what they say and everything. They're basically just repeating some of the stuff from the press conference. But here they are. Same, look, same box, right? Same box uh, from the press conference there or the congressional hearing that wasn't really a congressional hearing uh someone said unboxing yeah exactly <laughs> i mean just look at that they just grab it right with a couple of hands and it's just stiff as a board alga fossilizada de aproximadamente 13 a 17 millones de años what they said it's fossilized up to 17,000 years what I don't know if they're talking about this or something else. So, cuando el desierto de Nazca y de Palpa del Perú era el fondo del océano, este polvo de diatomea no lo van a poder describir a detalle. Tenemos reportajes, investigaciones. So they're talking about the powder that's on it, the diatome or whatever it's called. Um, and again, just look how they're handling. It. I mean, it's stiff as a board. I don't know anything about this stuff, but is that normal? Um, Actúa como una especie de protección contra los hongos, contra las bacterias. Con so they're saying that that powder is like a, you know, preservative, if you will, right? To help preserve it and to shield it from fungus and bacteria. Sí, insectos. Insects. Y ello ha generado que la diatomita, como también se le llama el polvo de diatomea, se haya encargado de preservar perfectamente a esos especímenes. So they're saying basically that diatome, whatever that powder has just, you know, maintained it, it's preserved it this entire time. Um, yeah, this is so interesting, right? Like they got a real, a real machine here to take a look at this. Um, just odd the way they're handling it. Que tienen mil años de antigüedad. It's a thousand years old, he's saying. A ver, adelante entonces. Va a empezar el análisis. Here goes the analysis. El notario público está con nosotros dando testimonio y fe de todo lo que se está llevando a cabo. So they're saying there's like a public, uh, you know, medical officer there to uh, uh, testify to what they're doing and it's real and whatever. Um, this person getting an epic picture here. 
Uh, although this one with the lines going across the head is, is pretty interesting. So imagine this is like a real alien. This is what we're doing. I guess what other way would it be, right? Del otro lado de las pantallas se encuentran los especialistas en radiología, los médicos. Y este es el momento ideal para recordarle a usted que estos cuerpos no se pueden investigar a distancia. They're saying you cannot investigate these bodies from a distance. Es yeah, agreed. Especímenes no se pueden explicar armando modelos o armando algo por otro lado. Estos cuerpos que son orgánicos y antiguos y completamente diferentes a todo lo que hemos visto. They're organic, they're different from anything we've ever seen. Merecen y deben ser estudiados, investigados de una manera objetiva. They're saying this should be investigated, deserves to be investigated objectively, which agreed. So this is that's good news, right? They're, they want people to look into this. And the key is going to be to get this into other countries, other scientists, other facilities, other universities to study this. I'm not saying this is nothing. But es decir, directamente. Algún comentario, doctor wow, José de Jesús Salce Benítez. Efectivamente, eh, lo último que acabas de decir. All right, this is a doctor that's speaking now. Más importante en la investigación científica, cuando alguien quiere dar una opinión sobre algo desde el punto de vista de la metodología científica, tiene que conocerlo de primera mano. Y es la. So they're saying if you scientifically are trying to judge something from a distance you know you you need to be there like firsthand and have your hands on it to actually study this um, which i agree with acción que hemos hecho desde el 2017 en donde la comunidad científica que lo desee se acerque a conocer all right let's see if we can get to some okay constantin korotkov y se fueron sumando más expertos se fueron sumando más especialistas Va, I mean, I va a proceder este, la, la imagen, así que es, pro, es posible. Ok, real quick. I'm not a doctor, but hang on. Ok, right here. Again, I'm not a doctor. I'm pretty sure. Look at the way the bones are. They're not even even. Right? They're not even even. Like, they got this weird, like, they just stop. You know, they're just not even. You know, I don't know. That does kind of look like they were put in there, right? Like, this one drops off here. Real strange. It's just, that's weird. Again, I'm not a doctor, but I've seen human rib cages, and they, like, looks good. Looks even. It looks, you know, this does kind of look like it's put together in a weird way. Again, I don't know anything about this stuff, but who knows. Expertos, se fueron sumando más especialistas. Why don't they check the bones? Are the bones made of like calcium, like ours? Like what, what are they, these bones made of? Va, va a proceder este, la, la imagen, así que es, pero es posible que cambie la luz. Como huevos. Yo quisiera oh, yes. pedirle al doctor Salce que record Para nosotros fue justamente uno de los factores que necesitábamos aclarar y determinar en la. <coughs> um, this is so interesting. Look at where it all is. Right? It's like exactly where you, if you were going to build this thing, this is like welding points, if you will. You know? I don't know. This is very strange. L again, look at the way this is so off. Like, what kind of skin would be around that? It'd be all weird looking, right? Like, what? that doesn't make any sense. Why it would grow like that. But again, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. De las, las radiografías, rayos X y Tell de la tomografía. Comments. Y efectivamente, en el momento en el que tomamos la radiografía y se pudo observar la, la imagen, y en esta imagen se observaron tres huevos, Fue un momento de 
total eh, asombro, espectacular, porque estábamos viendo una posible estructura orgánica. A possible organic structure. Una etapa de gestación, lo cual gestation. esto facilita no, el eggs. poder determinar que es un organismo vivo. Ahorita vamos That it was a live being. Empezar con el estudio y esperamos ver la misma situación en el abdomen de este cuerpo denominado pies, haciendo cortes que permiten tener una observación a estructuras milimétricas. <laughs> Up here, that's kind of funny. Cuerpo no humano clara. Like, they're basically saying, like, not really a clear human being. We don't know. Um, interesting. Well, all of their equipment is in English. I wonder if anybody knows about this stuff. Can comment below, like this machinery. Abdomen simple. Hmm. Pues estas estructuras milimétricas son de las que experto y médico cirujano, experto en radiología, Edson Salazar Vivanco, a engañar, a intentar... En momentos previos, antes de llegar aquí a, a introducir, para que no se vaya a pensar que se sustituyó la, la, la información o el análisis que arroje el, el aparato. Ahí lo tiene usted nuevamente, más que claro, el hecho, lógicamente... La... I mean, look how small these things are, right? They're just like the size of like a Chucky doll, you know? específica es dar fe de hechos de que este cuerpo es el que está siendo analizado y obtenidas las imágenes que están están en vivo las imágenes Alberto García nuestro manager a ver vamos a que normalmente Are you in Texas? Would you Sorry, like to I got, know I got the secret for go. having a better life? Wow, should we watch that? Conocemos? Entonces, oh. <laughs> este ser me parece que no podría haber tenido mucho movimiento. Eh, vemos un solo hueso en el antebrazo, por lo tanto... So they're saying this being didn't move very much, uh, just because of the way the bones are. Um, that's interesting. Creo que pudiera ser el movimiento de pronosupinación. Y vemos hacia la mano también, eh, pues prácticamente eh, no hay huesos. Eh, y eso le, le... Like, there's practically no bones in the hands. Dificultaría mucho la movilidad. And it impairs like their mobility, their, their movement. Pues interesante sí, sus consideraciones. Me gustaría preguntarle al doctor José Salce que también nos dé eh, sus impresiones en base a, a estos primeros momentos. Digo, son unos cuantos minutos los que los expertos, los especialistas han visto las imágenes. Muy difícil determinar ante qué estamos, pero le So they're saying like, well, they only get a few minutes with these results, so it's really hard to like come to a determination. Well, well then like, what are you doing this for? Wasn't that the whole point? <laughs> that's, an, that's a little disconcerting. But again, if anybody knows about um, this machinery, what we're, uh, you know, maybe some of these other things we're looking at, I don't really know what they mean. Wow, it lets me select some of this lettering in the video. Is that new? Does my my uh that's crazy de la transmisión es sorry i didn't know my dictaminar establecer si fue armado o no fue armado es un ser de una sola pieza qué piensa doctor salce creo que llegamos a, al punto medular de, de todo so they're asking this guy um doctor what was his name doctor salas i think they were saying doctor fernando efectivamente Acaban de, de, de ver las imágenes recién tomadas directamente y con la interpretación de un especialista en imagen y un especialista en ortopedia, en donde están confirmando. An orthopedic expert. Um, they keep saying the same stuff, like we're here in a legit facility. We got legit people looking at this. You could see live this thing. They're really selling this like it's live. These are live results, you know. That sort of thing. Este cuerpo no tiene señales de haber sido armado o unido por piezas. Es de... So they're saying this shows no signs of being, you know, put together 
basically, um, from other pieces. That's what they're saying. Que no tiene metales que lo unan, pegamento que lo una. It doesn't have any like metals or glue or anything that's like unifying everything, right? All the pieces together. Um, that's what they're saying. So, and again, that remember that was a big part of what the debunk, right? Was like, oh, this is just pieced together from uh, mummies um, and animal parts, and right, just a, a Frankenstein, if you will. Um, and they're saying there's no signs of that. Una otra estructura que pudiera haber juntado piezas óseas para armar el cuerpo. Ese es el primer, el primer punto, que, que estamos todos coincidiendo en que no ha sido armado. So they're saying they've all come to that conclusion that this has not been built, if you will, built, right? Segundo, estamos coincidiendo en que la estructura del esqueleto efectivamente tiene una serie de alteraciones en su anatomía que no serían compatibles con una vida como la conocemos actualmente. <coughs> Let me hear that again. Armado o unido por piezas, es decir, que no tiene metales que lo unan, pegamento que lo una o alguna otra estructura que pudiera haber juntado piezas óseas para armar el cuerpo. Ese es el primer el primer punto que que estamos todos coincidiendo en que no ha sido armado. So again, first point he's saying is just they're all agreeing this was not put together. Segundo, Estamos coincidiendo en que la estructura del esqueleto efectivamente tiene una... They're saying the structure of the skeleton effectively... ...serie de alteraciones en... Alterations... ...anatomía... ...and the anatomy that aren't coinciding with like anything they've seen or human. No serían compatibles con una vida como la conocemos life, actualmente o en similitud al ser right humano. Now. Pero estamos justo ante una especie que aún no hemos descrito, que no hemos descubierto y que seguimos estudiando y analizando. Por lo tanto, este tipo de articulaciones y uniones de huesos tienen una serie de diferencias entre nosotros que lo hacen único. So they're saying this makes it unique because of its structure and how it's, you know, he kind of said made, but whatever, how it's put together, right, its structure, its skeletal structure is just so different, right? So that's just the point they're trying to get across. Uh, let's move to some other stuff here. Um, all right, here we go. Let's let's get a look here. Suplantar o oh, hacer un, un solo... The alien. Hang on. Uh, de este ser que tenemos aquí para ver okay, si every, tenía vida o no tenía vida. Y, Guys, I got an alien. Que, los que explican son los expertos. Yo solamente... Doy fe de que sí se trata del mismo here. ente que se está investigando. Okay, it is a cake, y'all. Just kidding. Did y'all see that video? ¿Ahí lo tiene usted? I mean... En vivo, en directo para todo el planeta, ¿sí? A ver, adelante, doctor. Ahorita que, que lo puedo levantar, me gustaría mostrarles la ausencia de los tres dedos en el pie. So he wants to demonstrate... Uh, the three uh, toes on the foot. Um, wow, okay, there's a good indication of like how big that thing is. Right, that's, that's it right there. And in fact, real quick, y'all, while y'all are watching, uh, I'm going to get a screenshot of this because that is just great. Um, okay, sorry, just saw that. That'll be the thumbnail, probably. Um, wow, um, I'm flabbergasted by this, y'all, to be honest. Like, not flabbergasted, like, oh my God, these are aliens. Uh, that just hasn't hit me, right? There's no, nothing in me that's like, oh my God, these are aliens. Like, it just looks so fake, man. Like, these little aliens are this big walking around, seriously? And these big ships, I just, I just don't see these little beings walking around and jumping around. Al igual que la ausencia de este dedo en la mano, pero sobre todo me interesa que el licenciado, el notario. Just speculating here, but they probably chose a small figure to 
um, manipulate because that would be easier than a big one, right? Just would be easier to work on. Small little model, one tenth scale. Just saying. Yeah, que no tiene ningún tipo de estructura de sujeción externa o de like some sort of like external you know marks that show like they did something to it right you don't see anything but look it's just it's like stiff as a board man i'm just blown away by that so this is his back right here what is that i mean it just looks externo que, que pudiera suplantar o hacer un, un solo un solo why would the fingers be curved you know why would they be curved like that that doesn't make any sense to me un solo individuo y que como ya fue comprobado en la tomografía pues sí está compuesto de estructuras óseas que incluso podemos ver aquí la fragilidad de cómo está roto y they're saying you can see how fragile it is there. The part of it's like broken. So I don't know, guys, you know, y'all take a look. Look, they're looking at all this stuff. They see the eggs in there. Um, I mean, they're going to have to cut one of these open. We're going to have to like drill into it, right? Like there's just no way. We are the Skaggs family. You, you know uh, what Matthew we need. Cosette and we are. Okay. Yeah, we're done with that. Um, again, I'll put a link to this. Go watch the full thing. See what you think. You know, that'll be for you to decide. But, you know, what would be interesting is to get somebody to tr just try to replicate it just for fun and see how close they get to what it looks like. And then see if it's even possible, right, to, to pass all these different tests. That, that would be a good for somebody to do. Um, it would go because if it's hard to do, then it would help prove them. If it's easy to do, yeah, could hurt them. But if you got nothing to hide, that's what you should do. Otherwise, these things are going to have to go out to different universities and different places. And I mean, look at the way they're handling them, right? Look at the way they're pulling them out of the boxes and handling them. Like, um, clearly, they're not worried about like temperature or um, air pollute. Like, you know what I mean? Keeping like a um, a clean area around to to work on this. I don't know. Um, preserving them in a particular way so you know i don't know anyway you guys tell me what you think again i'll put a link to to that full uh video and you guys can check it out and see what you think um i am going to do one more video later this week sort of summarizing this whole journey with these uh mexican aliens i, I don't know why i'm calling mexican aliens but uh yeah, it's fascinating for sure. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Check out the full video and uh, let me know what you think. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time on Betted. I'm Patrick. Have a great night.